Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli Fishman from TalkingBall.net and YouTube. Eli Fishman Sports back with another interview. Today I'm happy to be joined by Jeffrey Passantino, pitcher for the Lipscom Bisons. Jeffrey, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me, man. Of course, thanks for coming on. You played high school ball at Bishop Barrett High School. You had a 22-4 and career record on the mound. Can you tell me about your time at BVHS? I loved it. Uh, I had a great group of guys all four years, um, a great coaching staff, and an incredible pitching coach that taught me a lot. Um, I enjoyed my time there. It was a one in a million opportunity. That school has done a lot of great things for me and for a lot of kids. You're from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, but you decided to come to Tennessee to play for the Bisons. What led you to come to come to Lipscomb, yeah, all the way in Tennessee, to play for the Bisons? Uh, I just loved the feel of Lipscomb when I first came. Uh, it's a special place. Uh, Nashville's an unbelievable city. There's a lot of fun things to do. So, um, right in the middle of the of the country, and and happy to be there. As a freshman, you posted a five and one record with a 2.69 ERA. It's a lot of stress coming in in your first year of NCAA baseball, and to get all that off your back and have this much, this much success, can you tell me about that season and how it felt to get all get all that off your back? Sure, of course. I was a freshman, and I didn't really know what to expect at first, but I love a good challenge. And my freshman year, it was always about a, a fun challenge and going out there and proving myself. So. Every single time I play with a little bit of a chip on my shoulder, ready to compete and ready to go beat some guys. So that's kind of what I did all the freshman year. Last year in the Cape Cod League, you got to participate in this absolutely prestigious league, and you were absolutely unhittable. You had a 6-0 and record with a .64 ERA. That's absolutely amazing. And to be in this big of a prestigious league with the best players in the country, can you tell me about that, that uh, season last summer? I've said it a lot, and I'll continue to say it, but it was some of the most fun I've ever had with uh, that team and, and the whole experience on the Cape Cod League. It's uh, a special place. I, I mean, I, I don't really have words for how special of a place it is, but the competition is unbelievable. Um, the feel of all the games, you, you, don't, you don't think you really get that until you get to AA, AAA, or even the big leagues, just kind of the feel of the game. But um, it was some of the most fun I've ever had. I'll forever be grateful for the Falmouth Commodores, what they did for me, and the Cape Cod League for what they did for me. It's an incredible league, and I'm blessed to be able to go there. As you said, it's an incredible league filled with the best players in the countries. And then you got to play you got to play with the best, but then you got to play with the best of the best of the best in the Cape Cod League All-Star Game, and you got to start. That's, that's as good as it gets in collegiate baseball, starting the Cape Cod League All-Star Game. What was that like, going out on that mound, a big game with the best players in the country? Well, I'm not sure I remember the first kind of half of the game because I was so amped up, but I remember going out to the mound and turning around and looking at all the fans. I mean, I think there were close to 10,000 people at that game. And I just remember taking a big breath and really taking it all in and how special it was. I mean, I was surrounded by so many great players that are going to go on to the big leagues and be some of the top players in the country and in the world, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm just grateful. Um, it was a great day, and for me to be a part of that, for me to start that game, it was, it was something special. I'll never forget it for sure. So you're a junior now, which means this June you'll be eligible for the 2017 Major League Baseball draft, and you might have a hard decision um, come June. Uh, you're projected to go in the first 12 rounds. Um, have you thought about it at all if you want to go dra go to get drafted and go play professional baseball, baseball or want to come back here for your senior year? For sure. It's on my mind every day. Um, some days I try not to think about it because you do get wrapped in a lot of it um, some of the time, but... I feel like I'm mentally ready, physically ready. Um, if everything lines up the way I feel it's going to, um, I feel like I'm ready for the draft and, and to go play some baseball, some professional baseball. All right, thank you so much for joining me today.